What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? It's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing, home of the High Level Pro Boxing Media. Man, oh man, just 11 days till March 30th, man. And Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman was going to be a good fight, man. It was going to be a good fight. People got mixed feelings about it. But now we got a substitution, Fondora. Now this, this fight right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, is a fight that, you know, people think, hey, this is a better fight. Some people be like, nah, this is not a better fight. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Um, here is a video of, you know, Keith Thurman, his last minute words, some content that I was not being able to drop, but I'm gonna drop it for you guys right now. Check it out. Let me know what y'all think. Just, just another one, man. I've just, I've been here. Um, you know, he reminds me of like Diego Chavez, right? When I fought Diego Chavez, I was 20 and 0, 18 knockouts. Diego Chavez was 22 and 0 with 18 knockouts. You know, this kid's 24 and 0 with 17 knockouts. I can say he might not hit as hard as Diego Chavez, you know, and Diego Chavez was a puncher though. Difference is Diego Chavez was a smaller guy, smaller reach. So it's like I'm dealing with like Diego Chavez with like Soto Carras's reach or something, you know, and Soto Carras's like pressure, you know, Diego Chavez, he didn't have that kind of pressure, you know. So I'm dealing with like a Carras Chavez, okay. So like when you when you can go back in your memory and say this dude is like these two dudes combined, you know, okay. Fusion ha. Now these dudes trying now they bringing out this Australian man. I already told him, man. That Australian Mexican man. Mexican zoo. What you gonna do? Mexican zoo. You know? Come on, man. It is what it is, man. I've seen these styles. I've seen these styles in the past. He's a tough man. He's a very, very tough man. But it's called boxing for a reason, son. And we put the fundamentals together. And we, we and we sit down on a little boom, boom, boom to make up for the lost times. We add some weight. We do some extra curls, not just lifting those babies. You know what I'm saying? And we just go boom, boom, boom. You know, I mean, I just think it's going to be a real firefight, man. Somebody's going to be disappointed. That's all I know. March 30th, somebody's going to be disappointed because I'm hyped. So what's going on? Now you're moving up into the division. Um you know, we haven't seen that one time in a long time. Um, do you feel like, you know, your hands are all right coming into this fight? And with that extra weight, do you feel like we're going to see that old one time again? Yeah, are man, you hitting it, harder? Hands, Talk to me. What's yeah, the, the, hand, the hands are good. The hands are good. The strength work is pumping. We're touching weights more. We don't have to lean all the way down and out. You know, we're going to, this body's going to lean up at 54 as well. But, we get to hold on to a little bit more muscle. We get to pump the iron a little bit more. And, um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, knockouts, I've tried to say this before. I've, I've, I've done this so much in the past. Knockouts, you know, they really do happen before the ring happens. You know, before you enter the ring, the knockout's happening, you know. And that's because knockouts is mindset. If you're not really, boom, you know, that's the thing. It's the one thing we all love about Javante Davis, right? You know, we know we know it's not a BB gun, all right? We know it's not an AK-47, right? This dude's not even a rocket launcher. He's bringing the tank, Tank Davis, okay? What happens when that tank fires, bro? Mm. that's look man you don't all you gotta do is visualize what a tank is put it in the ring now you understand who you're fighting it's a mindset i live this life i told y'all in the past i live this you watch this okay mm. I live this. You watch this. I know what I'm talking about, man. And it's, yeah, Keith one time Thurman. How did Keith one time? I mean, it, it really, it came on the table. It was a real fight contract that came on the table. Tim Zoo was nowhere on my lens. You know, once it, once it got into the real picture, like, we can make this happen. 
and we're fine with it. You want it, you got it. Run it. And now it's taken off. Done. You know, so it wasn't that methodical of a chess move. You know, I wish your man's could have been like, yeah, I snatched that phone that boy. You know, uh, it ain't it ain't about that, man. It's it's a fight. I have an opportunity. And it's exciting. You know, they're doubting me. They're giving me something to work for, you know. And if you want to bet on your boy, on your boy Thurman, you can actually cash out on this. one. You know, yep. For all those who have faith, let's, let's eat together, baby, because that's what it's about, man. I got to go out here, and really, it's the setup. You know, is Bud is is Bud actually going to be back in the radar? That easily could have happened at any time after the Barrios fight. Never got put up to the table. They waited it out. Do the thing. Get the get spends. Do the thing. We understand. It's fine. You know, don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. You know, when you really know it and you want to be a part of it, you might as well not hate none of it, you know, just keep moving through it. You know, so we 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 survived. We've been through these bad years. The ball is rolling. The stars are aligning. And it all starts right here. March 30th. If Bud's next, if Charlo's next, we're, we're, we'll be here after March 30th. I'll be established at 154 and we'll be here knocking on. Knocking on doors, seeing who who wants it. So is that that's where you want to be at fifty four? I mean, there's once this fight happens, like we said, right? Thurman loses. What does he do? Thurman wins. It's the snowball effect. It's the snowball effect. You move, you know, you move with the ebb and the flow. When the doors open, if they're like, oh, well, they actually, you know, they actually still want you over here, over there. I'll see without what's actually out there. And then we'll have to make that move. But we can't do none of that till we get through Tim Zoo. So it's just really important, you know. He gets to keep his belt. That's whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, when I win, the history books will know that the undefeated champion got defeated in Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena, March 30th, against your man. He's one-time Thurman. And that's good enough for me. Man, I appreciate your time, Keith, man. God bless. Good luck. And I'll see you March 30th. Bet. Thank you. So let me know what y'all think, man. Is Keith Thurman done? Does he got one more time? I need to know what y'all think in the comment section. We're going to be going live in about an hour. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out the live call in on Instagram. Uh, our live. And uh, we will hear you on our youtube and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you have appreciate you man much love to y'all god bless